life is all about doing what you love and getting paid to do it. So first off, I'd just like to say thank you to anyone on Instagram who sent me a question. I really appreciate your guys' feedback. My first question came from Eric Gamma. This is one of my friends from middle school. Yes, I believe I haven't seen him in years. What's up, Eric? Thanks for sending a question. So his question was, how do you plan to monetize your hobbies? So I'm gonna start by telling you guys about how I plan on monetizing my hobbies, but then afterwards I want to give you guys, you know, I want to talk about other hobbies that potentially some of you guys might have and how you guys can earn some extra cash just doing what you love. We all have ways in which we can utilize our passions in order to make money. So in my case, writing is one of my top passions, my top hobbies. I love to write, I'm a poet, I have a blog if you didn't know, I always link it in the description if you wanna check out some poetry. So let's say I wanted to make money. Well, I would just go onto Google and literally look up freelance writing jobs and there is gonna be a bunch. And the nice thing about that is those writing jobs are virtual, you don't have to be there. So you're probably gonna just have to email um, a draft over, get it verified. Um, but I know there are so many people looking for writers, whether it be music, artists hiring writers to write their songs. A lot of companies will hire writers to write out what's going to be on their website, um, to write maybe different newsletters that are email blasted to their clients. So there's a lot of ways that I could make money. Another hobby that I have is education or teaching. It really makes me happy that I can make a difference in a student's life and that can make them feel more confident, that I can make them feel more capable. And I think that's just honestly such a gift and I'm very honored to do what I love. Literally, thank God, I'm so blessed and grateful to be able to do what I love. And I truly, truly love to teach and to inspire and to motivate. And it's something that I've been doing for like over a decade now. I have my own private tutoring business. So that's basically how I've been able to monetize my hobby of teaching. Another hobby that I have is YouTube, duh, like editing videos, taking pictures, capturing memories, storytelling, all of those things I absolutely love. And I currently do not get paid for YouTube, but it's something that's so dear to my heart. I honestly just enjoy making videos, talking to you guys, connecting with people. I don't get monetized for that currently, but I know one day I will be. And I think that's how we should all look at our hobbies. Maybe you currently have a few hobbies and none of them are making money. You should always believe that you have that potential to create one of those hobbies into a side business. When I have friends tell me, there really isn't something I'm good at, I could literally name at least minimum one, two, three things that each person I know is amazing at. Like my mom, she's amazing at yoga. She has her yoga certificate. So for example, in her case, she could do one-on-one -on -one yoga classes, right? That doesn't require anything she doesn't already have. She already has yoga mats. She already knows people who are interested in yoga. And so that would be a great way to turn a hobby into a job or into, you know, a little side hustle. Let's say you knew how to play a certain instrument. You could teach one-on-one -on -one lessons. You can hold a little small class at your apartment. If your passion is cooking, which mine definitely is, um, then you can maybe create a meal prep business where you sell meal preps to your friends. There are literally so, so, so many ways to make money in today's day and age. So don't ever feel restricted. Don't ever feel like you have to do something you hate in order to get by because life is all about doing what you love and getting paid to do it. What's another one that I wrote? If you have a really good camera, if you're skilled in you know, getting those good angle shots, you can literally charge up to a few hundred just for an hour or two doing photography. So that's something you could easily pick up. I know there is a website, I'm not sure if it's a website or an app, but it's called Shutter, and that's another uh, freelancing 
kind of platform where you can go, put your services, say what your rate is, and you can get clients that way. Also, if you know how to do Photoshop, that's something you could sell. If you are a graphic designer, you can create logos for you know different startups, different businesses. I bought my logo for Way to Grade A on Fiverr. If you're a graphic designer and let's say you already work for a company, well, on your weekends or maybe after work, you could start a side hustle. Um, on Fiverr uh, creating logos for other people. So these are just a few ideas and I hope that I gave you guys some inspiration and you know tips on how you guys can do it as well. Now moving on to the next question which was from Brian Duenas. What's up Brian? Haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for sending in a question. I really appreciate it. He asked what inspired me to become a videographer and by videographer I believe he means a YouTuber. I started YouTube about a decade ago. And I know you guys are probably gonna be like, what? Well, I deleted them. I was always a big YouTube fanatic. Like ask my sister when I was, let's say like 11, 12, like just starting my teenage years, I loved YouTube. It's funny cause I wasn't really big on makeup or anything really girly at the time, but I always watched videos about girls putting on makeup and you know, fashion hauls. And one of my number one, uh, favorite YouTubers at the time was Dulce Candy. So if you guys don't know her, definitely check her out. I'm gonna link her below. Um, she was one of my favorite YouTubers. I just found her so inspiring because A, she was in the military. Yeah, she went to the military. But she was that military girl who could go, run all those miles, and then she'd come back and do her makeup and look all glam. And so I love that duality, that she was such a boss, right? Like she had that masculine side, but she really embraced her feminine side as well. And I really loved her for that. Okay, I got a little off track. So back in the day, about 10 years ago, watched a lot of YouTube, loved Dulce Candy. It was pretty cool because as soon as she kind of had her spiritual awakening and transformation and kind of all that self-love, I was also experiencing those things. So it's really cool to witness her growth. Um, I feel like we've both been growing alongside each other. Um, and I've never met her in person, unfortunately, but we have Snapchatted a few times and she is just such a sweet, sweet soul. So shout out to you, Dulce. I'm gonna link her channel below. I was really inspired to start a YouTube channel and I just needed that like push to get me going. Well, I don't know if you guys ever ever heard of Joey Diamond. At the time, I was absolutely in love with this guy. He was like my YouTube crush and mainly because he just had such an amazing voice and I was like so into music at the time and I just thought he was so cute. Please comment below if you remember this. Okay. He was having kind of like a bachelor series about him, like trying to find his match. Rula had the great idea to start a whole YouTube account just to be on that bachelor show. So I made my video, I tagged him in it. Anyways, so embarrassing looking back. I'm sure you guys can tell why I deleted those videos because yeah, don't wanna go back there. Anyways, it just goes to show I've always loved YouTube. I've always loved, you know, watching other people's growth. And I feel like I am a storyteller. I love talking. I love, I mean, I'm a teacher, so I love teaching people. I love learning from you guys. And I think overall, um, YouTube is just, it's grown into such a huge platform. Like I think YouTube right now, YouTube and Instagram are really, really, really dominating. And yes, YouTube has been around for a while, but the amount of people who are actually on YouTube nowadays is just unbelievable. You could find any concept explained to you on YouTube. You can find the answer to almost any homework problem, you know, on YouTube. And what I'm saying by that is YouTube is such a powerful platform. And for me, it just made total sense for me to join. Not only do I love storytelling, sharing my stories with you guys and hearing your guys' feedback as well, but I love capturing moments. I love taking pictures. I love taking videos. Um, ask my family. I've always, ever since I was young, like 
when Christmas rolled around, I'd always ask for a camera for Christmas because I've always been one to take pictures, capture the moment, and look back on it. I think it's just so amazing that we have the tools and the technology to store images, store videos, look back on it in real time. To kind of sum that up, I've always loved YouTube. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. I've always watched other YouTubers. And besides the whole YouTube aspect of it, I honestly just genuinely like taking photos and videos and the editing process. You actually have to think about a lot when you're making a video. You have to think about what story am I trying to tell? Like what music is gonna set the right ambience? There's a lot of thought that goes into it. Basically, I love YouTube. I'm so happy to be on YouTube now uploading videos and I'm gonna keep this going. Like I really like where this is headed. I appreciate all of your guys' support and I just wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart. If this is your first time watching me or your 10th, I just really, really, really have so much gratitude for everyone, so thank you guys. The next question was, do I speak Arabic? And the answer is yes, I do. I'm not very good at it, so I'm not even gonna try and butcher anything. Blessed that I even know a little bit of Arabic. I can understand more than I can speak, but I cannot write or read. So that answers that question. All right, everyone, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope I answered all of your guys' questions. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to give this a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe, click the bell. So you can be notified every single time I post. So if you wanna follow along, definitely click the bell and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.